In this video, we're going to look at the linear extrude command for OpenSCAD. And right now I have a polygon in here um, with a few points, 0, 0, 10, 0, 6, 4, 5, 10, 3, 2, and then closes it back to 0, 0 again. And we're just going to try a few of the different options with linear extrude on this object. Uh, so linear extrude works on any 2D object, and it's got these... Um, different things that you can do with it. Height, center, convexity, twist, and slices. And uh, the main thing you're going to use is typically height. Uh, so linear extrude uh, will basically take a 2D object and just stretch it off the XY plane uh, however many units you specify. In this case I put a 10. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that and then that stretches it 10 uh, off the XY plane. Now there are a few other options that you can add to that. Uh, if you want to extrude it, say 100, you know, it'll go way up. Um, so there's the height command. Uh, that one is pretty straightforward. The center command is basically a toggle. Uh, center is true or false. By default, it is false. Uh, but let's go and see what happens if we say center equals true. Uh, so if you go and say center is true, then this is going to basically just uh, center that height around the XY plane. So it goes halfway above, halfway below the XY plane, uh, but it's still a height of 10, just 5 above, 5 below. So center is true will uh, just center it around the XY plane. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that option off of here. And... Um, Let's go and look at, we'll, we'll save convexity for a minute, but twist and slices. So the twist command here will do pretty much what you think it's going to do. Let's go and do uh, twist is 90. Uh, so this is going to take our shape and just twist it around this z-axis 90 degrees. And so uh, we have our basic object on the bottom, and it's just going to rotate that around the z-axis 90 degrees. Uh, and you'll notice here it's uh, going in this clockwise direction as you move up. That's uh, following what they call the left-hand rule. But uh, essentially, anything that you want to rotate around as you move up, uh, you can do with that twist command. Uh, if you want to do say 360, uh, then it'll twist it 360 in that same space, that same height of 10 that's right there. Uh, and so if you want to add more height, you can add more height. Uh, it'll look like a little less of a twist um, in that short height, uh, but you can see a little bit better with the, the tall height that's there. Uh, so that is the, the twist command, and it, it does allow negative degrees on there, um, so you can twist the other way just using a, a negative angle if you like. Um, let's go ahead and translate this polygon real quick. So let me take the linear extrude off a second, and let's go ahead and translate this polygon, let's say five units in the X direction. All right. Uh, so if I go and do that, that shifts my polygon over here, five units in the X. Uh, and now if we apply linear extrude with our twist, uh, you'll notice there's still that hole in the middle um, where we're not connected. So it, it does rotate around the z-axis. If you want uh, some other um, axis of rotation, you basically have to translate it uh, so it's centered on that z-axis, then twist it, then move it back. So um, there's not really a way to, to specify a different axis of rotation on these guys. Another thing we can add in is the slices command. Uh, so slices you can think of as your resolution, sort of like face number is with spheres. Uh, so slices, let's say we want uh, just 10 slices. Um, and you can see it's it's going to take just 10 of those to fill up that 
height as it extrudes out. Uh, if you want a lot more, say 100 slices, uh, then it gets a lot better refinement on the object. And so slices you can use to control uh, how fine a mesh you want um, and how good a resolution that you have on there. Uh, convexity really is uh, one sometimes you can leave out. Uh, it's basically how many times you're going to cross your object uh, if a line passes through it. Um, a lot of times people just set that to 10 and kind of forget about it. Um, sometimes you don't even necessarily need it in there. Uh, but one thing I forgot, I'm going to go ahead and add it here, um, is also scale. So there's a scale command. Uh, so let's say scale is 2. And I'm going to go ahead and take the twist out just so we can see this a little bit better. Um, so the scale command you can see is going to take this object we have right here and scale it as you extrude. So uh, by the time you get to the top, I put scale as two, so it's twice as big on that guy. Um, you can also specify maybe you want two in the X direction, uh, but you want your Y and Z to remain the same. So um, Two, one on that guy. And now uh, it will scale, or maybe not, uh, on that one. Uh, you don't really need the, the Z. Forgot about that. Um, so now I'll scale two in the X direction, one in the Y. Uh, the Z is controlled by the actual height of your linear extrude. So I get something like that. Uh, the other thing that you can uh, try is, you know, if you want to make it smaller, you'll say 0.5 in the X, uh, you can scale it smaller. Uh, so there's just different ways to, to scale on those guys. Uh, it will basically just multiply all of your extrusion points. So if you're translated like we are here, um, they'll bring you closer to the X axis with a, a smaller number. Uh, if you put in two, it'll take you further from the x-axis, things like that. So uh, so those are the basics of linear extrude. Uh, you can, of course, do all of them together. So if you want to do a twist of 60 degrees while you also scale, um, you can do that. Now it'll just do that twist as it scales up. So um, there's a, a whole lot of things that you can make with that linear extrude, uh, throwing in some of these options like twist, slices, scale. Um, yeah, so you can, you can do a whole lot with that. Uh, it is important to note that all of these are only for 2D shapes. And if you render, uh, your 2D shape should look like this, green with the a red border. Uh, on this version anyway. And those are the types of things that can be extruded. So polygons, circles, squares, uh, combinations of those. Uh, also text can also be extruded. Uh, so if you like, go ahead and play around with that and see what type of objects you can make.